Hello everyone, AGK here, back again with another video. In today's video, we have an iPhone 7 model, A1778, remanufactured by some company with an upper speaker problem. So when you call, uh, when you are going to call somebody, you cannot hear anything from the upper speaker, but the main speaker works just fine. So first of all, I'm going to voice memos, and as you can see, uh, the microphone works just well, so it's not an audio codec problem. I'm just gonna delete here and I'm going to go to settings and show you that the main speaker works okay. Everything works okay with the sounds. Now let's go and call somebody. And I'm going to show you right now that the proximity sensor works okay. So that means that I connected the uh, upper speaker flex and as you can see, there's no sound from the upper speaker, but I'm going to uh, turn on the speaker and as you can see works okay so uh, i'm going to show you right now how to fix this problem so let's go okay now before we get started i would like to mention two things first is that the device is clean from border pair so i removed the shield protector that protects the cpu from heating to see if anything is damaged or not and as you can see the anti-static heatsink stickers are there and yes, I search uh, for those stickers on Google to see how they called and they called anti-static heatsink stickers. You can check them on Google to see if you want to order uh, for all iPhone models. But anyway, uh, I also want to say that uh, it's a very common problem after you fix an audio codec problem. It appears that everything is working, but the upper speaker is not. Now, of course, you have to check the front camera flex and try another one and you have to check the forehead flex connector on the board to see if anything is missing or damaged besides if it was in water damage phone. So I checked the connection in the connector in diode mode and it seems like everything is okay. So you can check here in the schematics. Uh, you can download all the schematics. Uh, I will put, I already made a video on my channel to download all the schematics for all iPhones to iPhone XS, I guess and you can check the, the video i'll put the link down in the description you can just uh, download and see the schematic and uh, also you have to check all the uh, lines that related to the uh, upper speaker it's recommended to check them all in diode mode so uh, to see if everything is okay so as i said it's a common problem now if everything is okay uh, which is in my case, uh, I checked the connector and everything was fine. All the measures were there. Now, uh, as I said in the first that it's a very common problem. Uh, we will go now for the IC U3301 IC, which is the audio amplifier IC for the forehead flex connector. We are going to replace it with a one from a donor ball because I don't have a new one. And if you don't, uh, if you don't, uh, sorry, if you have a new one, good for you. If you don't, you have to be very carefully uh, when you're trying to remove it because it is glued and uh, with the underfill or what's called the black glue compound. Uh, now, as you can see, I'm starting to do the board uh, that is infected with the, <laughs> I'm sorry for the word infected, uh, that uh, has the problem with the upper speaker and I'm trying to remove the underfill first so I'm putting a very low temperature for my hot air station to remove the underfill and then I will remove it uh, with my um, soldering iron because I don't want to damage uh, anything near the uh, IC because we have the CPU very near to the IC and I don't want to damage it with uh, my high temperature. I'm using a very low temperature and after I remove and clean every every pad and uh, solder the uh, new IC, I will also use a very low temperature. Now for the second thing uh, is that I changed the white balance of my microscope camera and made a few changes regarding my camera settings. So let me know in the comments down below if it's better or not regarding the quality image. Now I will speed forward the old work and I will catch you after our uh, work is done. So let's go.
okay now we are going to test our work and I'm just gonna put my password over here and I will try to make a call I don't know if you can hear the upper speaker but I will try to close up the uh, phone and the camera and as you can see the upper speaker is back to normal and is working again so this video is not over yet uh, I will uh, go to the ZXW program to discuss more about this fix let's go now let's open our schematics and zxw program to see the board view for our phone and we will discuss more about the issue and what causing the problem so let's jump to our schematics and first of all we are going to search for the uh, upper connector flex connector which is g4503 and let's go sorry here we go and let's see uh, how many lines uh, that connected from the connector to the uh, up audio amplifier IC, upper audio amplifier IC. And let's see how much. Okay, we have our first line, which is on the pin 26 and 28 and 30. And also on the other side, we have the speaker to speaker 2, Vince Kong positive, which is the pin 11. Now, as I said before, we uh, it's better to check the all or measure all the connector on diet mode to see if this anything uh, disconnected or not. So let's begin from our pen 11, which it goes to a little capacitor and to, from the capacitor to the other side of the resistor that goes to the IC, which is uh, U3301, which is our audio amplifier IC for the upper speaker which is also an output from the audio amplifier IC. So if there's any uh, disconnect from the connector to the IC, it's probably because the IC has been damaged. And because it's under the black glue or the compound, it's better just uh, not to, pre to reheat it, it's just to replace it because it's very hard uh, black glue or compound. Now let's go to the line 26 I guess yes 26 goes from the other side of the capacitor which connects the two uh, pins together uh, by this capacitor 26 28 and goes to this resistor which is the inch compass we are not going to talk about the compass today our problem is the audio amplifier IC and also a output from our U3301 the last line which is also uh, to speaker to speaker two events connector negative goes to a resistor from the resistor also comes from the output from u3301 now before we are going to change the uh, ic there is a very high chance that it could be the coil that connects between the speaker to lx line to the pppdd main which is uh, gives the power to our u3301 and also you can check the output from the U3301, which is PP speaker 2, the boost goes a boost to our IC. And now this is a very high chance that it can this line can be shorted or not. But it's better to just check uh, the connector and if, uh, if uh, everything is present, uh, check if there is any short or any uh, broken coil, which in my case, everything was fine if everything was fine remove the ic as you can see in the video which is the safest way and if you know or if you noticed that the phone had a very very hard drop uh, just don't mind to check all the pens on the ic now this is my discuss for this problem and i hope it was helpful for those who are looking to fix the upper speaker problem for the iPhone 7 and yes guys that's it for this uh, today's video I hope you enjoyed I hope also it was helpful for you uh, please make sure to check all my uh, other videos on my YouTube channel and uh, thank you all for your support for my YouTube channel and don't uh, also forget to uh, like this video if it was helpful for you and subscribe to my channel for more interesting contents in the future and yeah that's it here's Antoine again sent you peace out